good little start for you know first day i think after akiha and i went our separate ways i did the shopping for dinner on the way back it's gonna be hot again tomorrow so i have to give them some food that will give them stamina enthusiastically i put the menu together in my head oh no i forgot to buy milk there was a convenience store right in front of me five years ago there was a to uh, tobacconist here it's a little expensive, but I don't have time to go back to the supermarket. I thought to myself. Hi. <laughs> hey, Kotori. <laughs> the automatic door opened, and the one with self-proclaimed cool allure left the shop. She had a bag on her lap, and she had a smile on her face when there was exact opposite of cool. Or which, which was the exact opposite of cool. She didn't notice me and went back in the direction of the dormitory. It's her. She didn't go to school, so what was she doing? I gave up on buying the milk and followed Kotori. When she got back to the dormitory, Kotori opened the front door just slightly. The music makes it sound like something hello is gonna happen. <laughs> she called a hat from the other side of the door and spoke to him about something. She was sneaking around and seemed really suspicious. <laughs> She's trying to hide from us. <laughs> Is she talking about me? This is a girl's dormitory, so I'm the only boy here. I don't remember being mean though. We were nice, we helped her out with the wheelchair and everything, we rescued her, and now we're mean? Okay, thanks. <laughs> I don't know why, but it would appear that she is sneaking around to avoid being found by me. If that's how you feel. And for the back door to the dormitory. I'll hide in the kitchen for now. <laughs> Shh. If this is about me, tell her I'm not here. <laughs> I doubt that he got the message, but wiggled his butt as he left the dining hall and headed for the entrance. I like, I don't know why, but the duck is probably gonna be the most hilarious comedical tool to use here. <laughs> While I'm waiting in ambush, I put the food I brought into the fridge. After a little while. <laughs> when Kotori came to the dining hall, she went straight for the cupboard, took out a spoon. Without taking out a dish, she stayed seated in her wheelchair. She put the shopping bag in the convenience store on the table. Inside was... Hargan Torch? Needless to say, it was top quality ice cream. <laughs> oh, she just bought ice cream all for herself, for nobody else to have. Not only that, but it was a family size. <laughs> Alright. Hey, if she wants to have ice cream, go for it. It's a big pot that costs 2500 yen. Damn. <laughs> she opened the lid. Oh, rough, roughly, that's about 25 bucks, I think. I don't know, roughly. Estimate. She opened the lid, and in her right hand, she had the top of a spoon that she would eat things like curry with. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, let's see what happens. Kotori's <laughs> spoon was still above the smooth surface of the Hargan Darch, and she dug a big hole in it. One scoop like that would be about 100 yen, about a roughly dollar, and she stuffed the whole thing in, <laughs> in one mouthful. She brought her hand to her cheek, as though she was flooded with happiness from the bottom of her heart. What is she doing? Seeing what she was doing made hiding and watching her pretty, her, watching her seem pretty ridiculous. That knowing I was watching, Kotori began to shovel in more ice cream like a construction machine. <laughs> you know what? The girl likes ice cream a little bit too much. I think we can let it go. <laughs> we all have our vices, okay? <laughs> Even if it was only 105 yen ice cream, you would savor the flavor more than that. <laughs> With the next mouthful of ice cream, Kotori suddenly lowered her head, holding her temples. Brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> To be able to get brain freeze from eating too much hardened darch is the very height of luxury. <laughs> During this little pause, Kotori opened up her notebook. There's something written there. I sneak up a little closer behind her. 
<laughs> and next to the words, eat as much Hargen Darch as I want. Kotori happily wrote the word done. Is it like a bucket list or like things you want to do? It seemed to be some sort of a list. Things I want to do. That was the title, and there were bullet points below. Stroke the head of a big dog in neighborhood. It's really scary, but it might be unexpectedly friendly. If possible, I like to ride around on its back. Fill the bath with water and swim in it like a pool. Pie throwing. And so on. Among those was, go and see Windmill Hill. With Don written next to it. What is this? <coughs> Damn, okay, that was loud as hell. <laughs> Whoa! Kotori screams, pee ears from my right ear and out my left. <laughs> <laughs> I was here before you were. <laughs> Her mouth was open in shock as she looked at Hat. Oh, Hat, you traitor! <laughs> well, I guess it's no good sending a duck to scout the place out. Even if she was able to complete the grasp what his responsibility was, there was no way he could convey the message. Kotori seemed ashamed and looked away. I'm sorry I surprised you. You were sneaking around, so I wondered what you were doing. I didn't mean to spoil her personal enjoyment. <laughs> I'm back to the kitchen to get things ready for dinner. Kotori's face seemed to say, now it only tastes half as good as she sulkily ate the ice cream. <laughs> Why are you taking time off school? <laughs> sure, okay. She's blatantly lying. Would someone who has caught a cold be eating ice cream? I'm the dorm mother, you know. Well, should we say father? Eh, whatever. Dorm mother it is. I have to make sure the boarding students have the right kind of lifestyle. Swoosh. She went, she went to the trouble of turning around so that she could point at me. If you want to call me a dorm father, then that's fine by me. Kotori turned back around and went back to enjoy her ice cream. If you weren't at school, then who were you? I softened my tone a little as I asked her. Should go back to the windmill hill? She's ignoring me and eating her ice cream. It's got something to do with me? I don't mean that. Yesterday, if I hadn't been passing by, what would you be right now? If you were not careful in a place like that, then maybe nobody would have come. If you can't move your wheelchair, what would you have done by yourself? Do you still think it's got nothing to do with me? I'm not accusing her of anything. That's why I try to speak as gently as possible, so as not to sound too harsh. However, I showered, I showed her how serious I was. Get her sweet side finally. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for thanking us. <laughs> Are you proud of that? If you think that people would be happy because it's so rare, you're severely mistaken. Kotori seemed daunted by the sound argument, put down the spoon and start and started thinking seriously. No, I don't. That sounded a little mean, so Katori oh, became tearful all of a sudden. Her cheeks were quivering as she desperately tried to hold back the tears. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I was joking. To make that face. Oh, it's gonna make me feel bad. That's right, see? You're fine. Hat quacked as though he was trying to cheer Kotori up. I wouldn't tell you to say thank you, would I? It's just that if you go out without telling anyone where you're going, it's kind of dangerous, you know? She wiped the corner of her eye a little with her finger. Somehow that's what she... 
somehow that's what the look on her face said. She put the spoon down and went to leave the dining hall. Where are you going? She closed the notebook and put it on her lap. Then a piece of paper fell from the notebook. You dropped something. Kotori looked as though she hadn't heard, left the dining hall. Hat went after her. As the sound of a wheelchair grew farther away, I let out a big sigh. Maybe I said too much. Nope, you know, you did pretty good, I think. <laughs> you did pretty well. It's just that I really was worried about her. I don't know anything about what's going on with Kotori, so perhaps I was unnecessarily interfering. Wait. The note? Oh, flashback, never mind. Speaking of which, she was wearing her uniform. However, she was wearing her own clothes yesterday when she went out to Windmill Hill. Could it be that she was actually planning on going to school? That's possible, isn't it? Could be. As I thought of that, I let my mood lighten a little as I picked up the piece of paper that she had dropped. Huh? For a moment, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was a notice for withdrawal from school. Oh. So that's why she got dressed up. Hmm. Hi, Kanako. <laughs> I was depressed while I was cleaning up after dinner, and Kanako came to comfort me. Why? Why did everyone leave so much uneaten? <laughs> For tonight's dinner, Kanako was the only one who ate all of her food. With that exception, everyone else left some uneaten. Tomorrow, I'll make even more tasty food. So tasty that no one will ever leave anything uneaten. <laughs> I felt renewed determination, and then the duck came waddling into the dining hall. <laughs> um... There's some vegetables over there. Or leftover, whatever. Same thing. Kanako took the leftover vegetables and fed them to Hat. Is this duck her pet? Are you allowed to have pets here? Hatsu-senpai. <laughs> <laughs> so the owner must have been keeping him. Kotori always called him a housemate. It's a mystery. Probably is, but we'll never know. Once she had finished feeding Hat, Kanako got out of her seat. Don't go walking around in your underwear again, okay? <laughs> if you really want to go for it... <laughs> no! Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm for the girl! I'm like, you know what? Whatever! Do you... Do you! <laughs> Kanako gave me a quick insult as she left the dining hall. <sighs> Why does everyone have to insult me just before they leave? <laughs> Poor guy! Poor guy. I felt a little hurt as I cleaned the dishes. Hello. This time, it was Kotori poking her head into the dining hall. It was almost as if she was waiting for Kanako to leave before she came in. She doesn't seem to get along well with her, so maybe she really was waiting for her to leave. I thought she might have... Uh, <laughs> I thought she might have come to have dinner, but she appeared to be looking for something. She was looking under the table. She went round the table once and then came past the counter in front of me. Oh, probably the um the resignation paper. No, I haven't. What kind of paper? Positive. <laughs> Kotori uh, groaned while staring at my, <laughs> at my face as if she were trying to see if I was telling the truth. With a straight face, I wiped the dishes with a towel. Or wiped. God, what's wrong with me today? 
With nowhere to check, she went to look elsewhere. I'll put your dinner in the fridge. Heat it up in the microwave and eat it later, okay? I couldn't help lying to her. The thing she was looking for was the withdrawal notice that I picked up. People were worried that if it carries on like this, she'll stop coming altogether. Looks like she's not really enjoying school. Akiha's words crossed my mind. It looks like Kotori really is planning to drop out of school. What am I doing? Why did I give the withdrawal notice back to her? There I stood, not even really understanding those feelings myself. I need water real bad. <laughs> Extend the little wings which fly in this, in this sky highly. Wow, this vision I was actually really good, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually really, really awesome. I'm really enjoying it. Morning, and that's actually where we're gonna go ahead and wrap up right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hope you enjoyed the series. Leave a like if you do. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this, and maybe you gotta, maybe you can recommend me more vision novels in the future. I know Princess Evan, Princess Evangel, I think that's what it goes, or Prince Evangel. I don't know what you you know you know exactly what I mean, right? You, hopefully, maybe uh, a lot of you recommended me to do that, and I may do that in the future, perhaps. That'd be kind of cool to do. Nevertheless, so I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. See ya. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Samriel. Welcome to the <laughs> Hello, what have you got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts are the treasure thing that. I kind of want to say you could dress better.